of all departments' gas slash diesel budget lines, and that would be Christy has that information. She met, she she sent out emails to everybody with a <coughs> lot of a lot of detail, <laughs> and then um, just for the record, she she brought she didn't print out all of those details because I don't know if anybody looked at it, but it was very be a lot of paper. Instead, she has a summary here for us with some attached uh, spreadsheets. So, Christy, take it away, please. All right, we're doing gas and diesel first, correct? Yes, please. Okay. So I did send the spreadsheet um, this afternoon. The reason it took so long is I was waiting so that I could update it with November numbers, and they were not on the WEC site until Monday. So, um once we were able to download all of that. So this is the most up-to-date that we could be. So gasoline and diesel. I gave a little summary memo here, and then there's some documents behind it. So if you'd like, I can just read through the memo and then if you would, please, briefly Christy. explain the yeah. uh, documents that are behind it. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. I'm attaching a few documents for your review and discussion tonight. You all should have received the Excel spreadsheet that I used to track gasoline and diesel. The first attachment is two pages and is a summary of the detail sheets in the spreadsheet sent to you. I have made some notes on adjustments that will need to be made in regards to police, fire, and recreation, which I will explain tonight. The next two sheets just provide some history on the gasoline and diesel accounts going back six years. I am sure some of you remember that it was the budget committee who encouraged the town to look closer at these line items. Since that request, we have begun to track gallons used in average cost per gallon. This information is then used to produce the amounts used in the next year's budget. At the time of this report, I have updated the gallons used to reflect the amounts through 1130 of 17. Therefore, I, ha I have only had to project out uh, one month, which would, should account for pretty accurate usage predictions. If, if it is the committee's desire, I can develop a spreadsheet with this information along with the average price per gallon. After this task is complete, I would ask that the committee make motions to adjust the appropriate budget lines. So if like that. When the budget was created, it was June or July, I think, was the most accurate numbers that I had to use to um, project out for the year. And then I did it again, I believe, in with August numbers for the Board of Selectmen. So things change along the way. So I think um, at this point we're like I said, only one month shy of what we actually used for this year. Uh, if you turn to the first um, Excel spreadsheet here, it basically shows you a summary. These are all the different types of gasoline and diesel across the top, and it shows you the gallons. These are actual gallons used in the first column of each one, the average price that we were paying um, in each of the departments. And then I projected out using, we only, um, through these numbers are through November. So like I said, it just projects out the one month thing. Excuse me. Yes. Just unleaded one, unleaded two, unleaded three. Those are different type gases. Yeah. And uh, I believe it's like regular unleaded, okay. premium, and super, oh, I believe. Okay, but okay. I just write, this is exactly how our WEX bill uh, Thank you. reads. So every, most of the uh, departments use the... Um, what was the name? Regular. Speedway? Is it Speedway, yeah, Speedway right up there? Speedway, or, yeah. or Hess used to be. That's the gas station. So. Thank you. Um, and then I show you in the second little section there, I show you what the 2017 budget lines are read. And then I'm showing you what the 2018 proposed budget lines in front of you are reading. And I made a note here that when I was doing this exercise today and going through yesterday and today and looking at some of the numbers, I found that in um, the fire department, I believe that someone had asked the question why the gallons in the um, budget were, in the proposed budget were so high. And I found that what was in the actual budget was total gallons for that department. However, some of them should be moved to fund 27 because of the fact that it's for like the ambulance and stuff. So I'm going to come up with an adjustment on that so that the gallons in the budget that you had received will be closer to what's in line with what is on these sheets. They won't match up right now if you look at them. Um, in the police department, the total gallons was okay, but it needs to be split because some of it, like 400 and something, should be towards the motorcycles that they use, and that they have to use the um, E3 inlet, which I think is like super. And then also the same thing happened in the recreation. They have a 
uh, not a special revenue. They have a revolving fund in recreation, so the bus gasoline should be coming out of there. So we need to move that from the budget. Uh, so we'll be able to reduce those numbers. Then the next sheet here just shows uh, the actual spending through um, the October financials, which are actually the bills that have been paid through September uh, gasoline shows you there. And then I also give you a little summary of the average prices that we were paying. And then um, some research that we've done just trying to project if we should use the average price or if we would need to inflate it. And I think Fred and I agree we're pretty um, comfortable with using what we are finding to be the average cost per gallon. I think that's what we did in the budget last year too, and, and we seem to be running okay. Um, at that time it was $1.75, and that's what we put into the budget for 17. So this year it looks like about, I think we had $1.84 in there, and that looks to be pretty close to um, what you're seeing on this sheet for my average for the unleaded. And then the last two sheets here are basically just giving you histories of actuals and averages and stuff. And you guys can see, it's just basically showing you that the gasoline and the diesel line items in the budget have dropped considerably over time. And I'm pretty confident now that with the tracking that we're doing that um, we're getting as accurate as we possibly can with the gasoline and diesel numbers that are being put into the budget. Those numbers, are they gallons or is that money? These are money on the last two pages, sorry. Money. Yep, those are dollars. Yep, sorry, I should have put dollar signs in there. But yeah, those are showing you what we actually spent in each of those years. <clears throat> and then um, what is requested in the admin budget uh, for 2018. Okay, thank you, Christy. Any questions? Uh, Tim Jones? Thank you. Um, thank you, Christine, for the wonderful detail. Appreciate it. I uh, just got a couple questions in reading the spreadsheet, so I'm reading it accurately. Uh, <coughs> on the various departments, we have custom vehicle slash asset ID. It looks like a license plate number. Is that, yes. is that what that is? A license plate number? And is that, if you're line, is that for every transaction? So every transaction is actually detailed here. Yes. And there's more detail too. We just, I mean, the Excel spreadsheet would be this big mm -hmm. if we left all the detail that is provided to us. Uh -huh. So we just kind of narrowed it down. I wouldn't have down. a problem with that now. <laughs> well, you, you present. You pre I got, a, I got a little thing on my screen. It's a scroll bar. Yeah. yeah. She actually sent him. I don't know if you saw. No, the email. he's talking about the same thing. But I'm just saying we could even have more details. I got it right in front of me here. <coughs> oh, okay. There's additional details. Is all I'm saying. When you get download the documents from Wex, I just pull out what I feel right. is important, which is the. Uh, well, the reason I asked is because I see all these. They look like transactions, but I don't see a vendor here, for example. Oh. Uh, and so obviously it was more information. Now you told me you cut it off because it was just considered superfluous, basically. Right. Okay. Um, I'm curious now. We got a WEX a WEX card, W E X. W E X. Yeah. Card. Yeah. Well, we don't have one. We have many. Right? Yes. Okay. Multiple cards. Mm -hmm. Every vehicle has a card. Does the card go in the vehicle? Yes. So whoever's driving the vehicle can then use the card. In that for that vehicle, yes. Right. Okay. And it just stays in that vehicle all the time. I. That's our understanding. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the finance director, so well, the that I, is the plan. Every vehicle has a card that matches up to it, and there is card numbers also. That's another column. Right, but that's just uh, you know a, a, an assumption. Would you like me to yield to you, David? When you're done, please. Uh -huh. Just a quick question, Christy. Um, 2013. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 David. Are you I'm yielding. yielding. I'm yielding. You're yielding. Yeah. Okay. I did. Yeah, I'm yielding to your quick question. Go ahead. Thank you. Are you on the summary page, or are you on the pages? I'm on the page with the dollar signs. Yep. And okay. if it is dollar signs, if I look under fire department, diesel. Uh -huh. Yes. 2012, I paid $16,000. 2014, it was. My guess is that's probably a typo. I'd have 14, to go back and look. but 2013 yep. is 129000 That seems a little. That's probably Weird. a typo. I have to plug all these things in. So my guess is that would be a typo. I'd have to go look, though. Thank you. Tim? The reason why I'm curious about, you know, how the, the uh, workflow goes with this is because the DPW director came in here, and in response to David's other quick question that night, uh, he said something to the effect of he's using 6,000 more gallons 
than he was. He doesn't know why because he's using less vehicles and he has less people to drive them. So I'm like, well, how can that be? I don't get it. I don't know how he came up with he was using 6,000 more yeah. gallons. Now so. you went through the detailed view of it. Right. And do you perceive that the DPW director was mistaken with that 6,000 gallon figure? I would have to, let's see, if you look at the 17 gallons for a DPW, um, for unleaded, he had 11,281. And for 18, we're projecting out 14,000. So it's only about a 3,000 gallon difference there. And then I got another three for diesel. So. And so the statement is generally accurate then? 6,000? Yeah, it's about 6,000 between the two of them, yes. So he's using 6,000 gallons more of, of fuel on vehicles in which he has a, a, a smaller number of vehicles and less people to drive those vehicles. Sounds all right. It does, and that's, what, that's why I call for the separate detailed discussion at that time. Uh, can you speak to that, Fred or Christy? Well, I think you're going to find it, because a number of the vehicles we have have some age on them, yeah. and they're not very efficient to run. Um, and they run eight hours a day, period, just like the police department mm -hmm. does. But the, the larger trucks burn considerably more fuel, particularly the trash trucks, because of the reburners, which is a problem. Uh, so the, the, their consumption of fuel has been going steadily up because of those problems. Do we, so have, do we have accounting controls in place to identify these uh, fuel hogs? As yeah, we know who they are, and, and or they're in fact, we're spending anywhere from a third to a half of our maintenance budget on those fuel hogs. We're looking to get rid of them. Right, so I guess maybe getting rid of them with newer vehicles would lower this uh, fuel uh, cost? With, 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 well, with new vehicles who don't have active earnest, and I'm looking at Mike over here because he knows what I'm talking about. Well, you're talking about those old-fashioned yes. afterburners yeah, as right. opposed to the new-fashioned afterburners. Yeah, well, the new-fashioned <laughs> afterburners are, are okay. They, they, don't, they don't plug up the system and cause you to have breakdowns and have to have the system rebuilt, and that's uh -huh. what we're doing. Right. And that's very expensive. So those are the gas hogs that are in your mind, at least? They're, they're, as far as I'm concerned, those are the gas hogs, yeah. Okay. So they're, they're actually burning 6,000 gallons, well, 3,000, they burn diesel, so diesel. there was a 3,000 gallon on the diesel There's side. about three on each, yes. Yeah. yeah. And so that 3,000 uh, diesel, just for DBW increase, is attributed to the garbage trucks being uh, more piggish than they were last year? I, I think that's where our problem is in the diesel area. Yeah. And I would also point out that when you were looking at these numbers. This is actually what was budgeted in 2017. Right. I could go back and look what the actuals were because it, there's nowhere in this document that you are looking at that shows you the 2017 right. actuals. Action. The 2018, I'm showing you actual gallons. Right. The 2017 <coughs> what was just what was budgeted. So if we went back to the end of 2017, ran these same reports, we would be able to tell you if that what did I have here? I had uh, 11,281 gallons. We'd be able to tell you if that was actually what, what ended up being used because it's possible it wasn't. You had to realize that this is all just, right. you know. So would you would you think that would be a fr fruitful exercise to do? If you would like me to do it, I can it do it. It sounds like yes. it might be a fruitful exercise. What do you think, Fred? Oh, yeah. I mean, any, any statistics that we can run out, right. we are having problems with some of these vehicles. That's why we want to get rid of them. We have deadlined, uh, we have two sludge trucks, we've deadlined one, we're getting rid of it. It's an auto car. It's reached its life expectancy. It's, it needs extensive repairs at this point. We're just not going to put the money into it because it isn't right. worth it. So. You have another quick question you want me to yield? Wait, wait, Please. wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, I'll continue. Instead of yielding. Finish, I'll continue. Finish, Tim, okay. and right. when you're done, then David, I'll recognize you. Okay, that's the way we're going to do well, it. I'm concerned. Right. You Please. said you leave the Rex card in each individual vehicle. Or at least that's the way it's supposed to be. But there's no assurance that that's the way it's actually happening. Well, I'm not in those departments. So I said I wouldn't speak to that. Right. I didn't so say I'm it wasn't asking, happening. So I'm asking yeah. Fred to. I'm not going to look at Fred, actually. <laughs> He's well, the big guy. If, if the implication would be that someone was using it for their own personal vehicles. Possibly. Uh, well, we had an individual that we did catch doing that, not with the cars, but they were using uh, some of the gas that we store at the Public Works Department and, and, and skid steer, uh, and, and we caught them doing it. They've been terminated. 
they were forced to pay back the money and we, we brought charges against them. So we're very stiff about that. Yeah. We do check these bills very carefully. Hold on. Do, you, uh, do you maintain logs when, 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 there's, when there's a transaction, when the vehicle pulls in the gas station, writes his miles down? How many and they have a log they're supposed to inventory what they're doing. Okay, are we capturing that log? I think Public Works is. I don't know about all the other departments. Because that would be probably the only way of putting a management control on that kind of thing, wouldn't well, it? Well, you, you can obviously dummy the control. You can't dummy the abdominus so easily, though. Well, yeah, you can, because if you're running the vehicle all the time, you can dummy it any time you want. Yeah. Well, okay, <coughs> uh, I'm just concerned about a little bit of, you know... Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anyone who's, who's cheating the I'd system I'd like to believe currently. that's true, but... Uh, if we catch them, they won't mm -hmm. be an employee yeah. very If you long. said we caught someone and they're no longer working, so... Yeah, yeah, okay. We just but I look forward to your, your secondary analysis, which yeah. we think might be fruitful. And also, your, your MMO is saying a lot of us, you're coming to uh, the Budget Committee with adjustments uh, subsequently uh, on the various... If you guys are willing to make the adjustments, yeah, I'd I be certainly, happy to I certainly do the work the to get the um, says, adjustments yes, ready. Let's, yeah. let's, let's get me more So you would like 2017 in the year, yeah. Yeah. gallons If you think that used. would be fruitful, then I want to have it, and it will back up whatever recommendation you're going to make, which I'm sure this budget committee will endorse, just as we did last year, with yeah. the exception of increasing the cemetery gas budget, which we did. Uh, <laughs> How did that turn out? Did they burn as much as uh, they did not? Okay, so not we're going to so be far, looking forward to talking about numbers. that at a, at a relevant time later on. It could be Thank a dead you. subject. I don't know. <laughs> I, I kind of got that in mentions a couple about a month ago. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're welcome, David. Fred, uh, sir. Side question. You said that we've used the six thousand gallons, and because of the trucks are all, which I'm with you 100. Yeah. Just My question terrible. is. If that engine becomes that inefficient, and I have a lot of breathing problems, believe me, so I get behind one of these trucks and I see all the black smoke coming out of it. In this case, it would be white Where smoke. Where are the state what, yeah. police getting on? My question is, in that context, if they're burning that much, are we breaking environmental laws or something of that nature? If They, they must well, be pretty that's dirty. A, that's a good question. I can tell you that uh, if you... The problem with reburners is that you need to take them out on the highway and run them at highway speeds for for a substantial period of time, and they work fine. A temperature, right? It's the temperature that 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 you've got to get it. The ambient temperature in the system's got to get up, and you don't do that going from I'm tin can to tin can to tin can. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't work very well. So what happens is that uh, when they they fill the truck and they they do a regular route back to, to, to empty the truck, and that, that system is impacted, what you will see is gigantic clouds of white smoke everywhere. Yeah. And that's when the truck is going to break down. Because we have to put it in for repairs at that point. And they've got to tear that system apart and rebuild it. So it's a poor system. It was something the federal government dictated uh, a number of years ago. We ended up with those trucks because they were the ones on the market when we bought uh, we would li now like to gradually get rid of those and, and get rid of this problem so that we don't have these gas hogs running around like crazy, which is what they're doing. They run eight, ten hours a day. Well, they must go in for an annual inspection from the state, right? Just like a car? Well, yeah, we inspect them ourselves because we have our own inspection station. And, and so, uh, we're required to report all those things. We're required to do all the tests that everybody else is. Uh, and that's why it's costing us a lot of money because we're actually doing them and we're actually fixing them. Thank you. Okay. Um, Steve Henderson, you had a question? Yeah, just a quick one, uh, Tim, to answer yours on the WEX cards. Normally, most of the uh, units all have one assigned to each unit, okay? Yeah. So if it's whatever it is, you know, and they all have one assigned. And normally, after you swipe the, the uh, WEX card, then they also would ask for an officer identification yeah. number. Right. So they we put in our that. own personal code. So that's assigned to me. So I go up there, swipe it. I put in my code number. The next thing they'll ask for is mileage. And then, you know, we can stop pumping gas. So Wex is capturing so all of that? So oh, really, yeah. it's, uh, mm, it's it's a full safe thing because I'm right. putting my code number in. So when I'm pumping, if I pump in 300 <coughs> gallons into a, you know, and it's a cruiser that takes 20 gallons, again, yeah. it's, 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 you know, you're not going to get away with it. So for the most part, it's, it's very each difficult. one has assigned it. So for somebody to, you know, go out there and go outside the box and, and do something like yeah. that, you really got to. You so really, that's on the full spreadsheet, basically, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. you can't, it's very difficult to game the system. You, you're going to have to have some way to get in with some sort of a security key right. And, and, right. and play games with the computer. Short think, of that, you're not going to be able to do thank it. Thank you very much. I think that um, 
that that answers the accountability yeah. question. Um, and I'm, I'm sure that that's something that the department heads are constantly uh, monitoring. So any other questions on, uh, any other questions for Christy regarding the gasoline or diesel accounts? Seeing none, thank you very much, Christy, for thank all you. of this work so far and, and to do the suggestions that, um, that we had talked about. Right.